Hello guys, this is Amol Khedkar. I welcome you to this video. This is a very interesting thing that I just came across. So Amitabh Bachchan to be your voice navigator on Google Maps soon. <laughs> so this is an article from the Indian Express. And yeah, this is coming to India only. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you all the details. So please don't forget to watch this video right till the end. And um, also, if you have not done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you know, you're really missing out on many things. Uh, I just recently uploaded a video about a dolphin observatory that is coming up in India. Now Amitabh Bachchan uh, to be your voice navigator for Google Maps soon. You know, these kind of news you are not going to hear anywhere else. I can guarantee you that. So please don't forget to subscribe. Amitabh Bachchan might be India's voice for Google Maps according to a news report. Here are the details. Amitabh Bachchan is one of the biggest and most popular Bollywood actors in India. I mean, no doubt about that. Everybody knows that. Till date, he has been featured in multiple movies, dubbed various movies and shows. A latest report claims now he might be getting ready to lend his voice to one of the most used map application, Google Maps. The report comes from midday. So, uh, you know, I was recently in India in December and I've seen many, many people use Google Maps for the navigation. Like, you know, it's like a default thing that people use for navigating. Even for get going from like one place to another intercity or even in intra-city, like within the city, they use Google Maps. The report states that Google has approached Amitabh Bachchan as its voice for the as its choice for the voice of Google Maps. However, as of now, no con contract has been signed. It further states that Bachchan has been offered a huge fee for the task and due to the current social distancing norms, will have to record his voice from home if he decides to accept the offer. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he will have to record his voice from home if he decides to accept the offer. So uh, because of the current coronavirus madness going on. As of now, Google Maps features the voice of Karen Jacobson, who is a New York based entertainer. So as of now, Google Maps features the voice of Karen Jacobson, who is a New York based entertainer. So the voice that you hear on Google Maps, that is of this lady who is a New York based entertainer. But yeah, that's that's with uh, English voices, right? So um, if you want like Hindi navigation uh, a voice, then uh, surely Amitabh Bachchan uh, will, be, uh, will be guiding you to a destination. She is also the voice of Apple's Siri voice assistant. So you know, you, you will not hear this kind of information anywhere else. So that's why, you know, look at this. Google Maps features the voice of Karen Jacobson, who is a New York based entertainer. And she is also the voice of Apple's Siri voice assistant. So the so Siri voice that you hear um, on your Apple iPhones, she, this, this woman has also given a voice to that. We recommend that you take this report with a pinch of salt, considering neither Google nor Bachchan has commented on it. So yeah, both of them have not commented on it, so it's still a rumor, but I just wanted to get it out there to you guys. It is said that Bachchan might only record his voice for the Hindi voice of the application and the English voice will remain of Karen Jacobson. As I said, you know, this, uh, you know, uh, uh, Bachchan will just uh, record his voice for the Hindi application because uh, Google Maps can guide you in many different languages if you don't know. So he will just lend his voice to Hindi application and the English voice will still be with this lady. To recall, Google has already worked with a Bollywood actor Amir Khan back in 2018. If you don't know, Google already worked with Amir Khan back in 2018. This was for the promotion of Yashraj Films movie Thugs of Hindustan and was removed after some time. So this was for the promotion of Yashraj Films movie Thugs of Hindustan and was removed after some time. In this partnership, your car turned into a horse with Amir Khan's character. Pirangi, riding it on the screen and giving you directions. So, <laughs> so Google Maps has already worked with Amir Khan before, and in this partnership, your car turned into a horse. Okay, so the if you if you have seen Google Maps, how it works is that it shows your car, and so in this partnership, your car just turns into a horse with Amir Khan's character on it, Pirangi on it, and riding it on the screen and giving you directions. That's what that's what this feature was of Google Maps, but then you know it was removed after some time. Uh, in the related news, Google Maps with a recent update introduced features that would alert users about COVID-19 related travel restrictions inside of the app. So, uh, you know, another news that Google Maps has is that it has introduced now uh, uh, coronavirus related travel restrictions inside of the app. So Google has always been innovative in bringing new, newer and newer things to their community and to the Indian market as such. That's why, you know, they have uh, rolled out this one feature as well. The features include transit alerts, medical facility alerts and more. So if you have not heard about this, uh, you know, Google has also started all these things. All these features are being tested separately in different countries 
and will slowly roll out to other countries as and when Google is able to increase its official data of the COVID-19 restrictions. So, you know, uh, all these things are happening. And I recently also heard that Twitter launched like a fleet application, uh, fleets application in India. That's why even Twitter is trying to, you know, capture the Indian market. And I think most of these big tech companies are trying to get to India. So I have made videos about this where I say that, uh, you know, India is the future of the world and why I think uh, India, you know, I also have a video titled India in 2030 where I analyze in detail about what I, why I think India will be a superpower country by 2030. Go and check all those videos out. So I make these kind of very distinct videos which are, uh, you know, which cover many different topics and uh, which offer you a very different frame of mind. So please don't forget to check out all the videos on my channel. Uh, I have detailed playlists on my channel as well. Go to the playlist tab on my channel and, you know, uh, look at all the playlists. You will find everything from, uh, you know, topics about America, Canada, Australia, Europe, South America, uh, Africa, uh, what else, Russia, China, South, South Korea, Japan. You know, I have, uh, uh, you know, extensive knowledge of geopolitics. Uh, I've lived in the U.S. for eight years of my life. I, uh, you know, have all, I have been in Canada now for two years of my life. I was born and raised in India, so I have spent uh, 22 years of my life in India as well. So, yeah, you know, considering all these things, I think, uh, you know, uh, I have, uh, uh, you know, considerable knowledge of the world economy and geopolitics and macroeconomics and many other topics. So please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.